Okay, I'm gonna give you all the story time about how this guy flew me to Tampa. <laughs> He literally left me in Tampa. Every time I see a video of one of these Instagram models getting flown out, I have to ask myself if these female rappers and these female R&B singers be flying out too. Because if that's the case, I'm finna stack up on my gray sweatpants and, and just start using my God-given talent to, to bring some extra money inside this household. Like, he left me in Tampa. Basically, he followed me on Instagram probably like that Wednesday, right? And he was like, you're really pretty. Do you ever come to blah, blah, blah. I can't really say where he lives because he plays on a football team. And if I tell y'all, y'all would automatically know what like football team he plays for. So I was just like, no. And he was like, oh, I don't really come to Texas either. And I was just like, oh, dang. Like, okay. So then he asked for my Snapchat and hold on. Did I tell y'all that he had a girlfriend and I didn't know? I'll get to that later. So then he was like, um, what are you doing this weekend? And I was like, nothing. And then he was like, oh, well come to Tampa for the Super Bowl. And I was like, for the Super Bowl? And he was like, yeah, like I'll fly you out here. Mind you, he asked me to go that Thursday and he wanted me to be there Friday, like not even 24 hours later. And I was like, okay. And he was like, I'm finna cash up you. And he kept like delaying on cash upping me. So I was just like, whatever, I'm not gonna go. And that Friday he was like, where you at? Like, are you coming? And I was like, you said you were gonna cash up me. He was like, oh, sorry, I was really drunk last night. Like, I'm finna send you the money now. And I was like, okay. So as you can see, here's the cash app. Literally, I didn't think I was really gonna go. So I just started packing everything in my bag. Like, I didn't have time to wait. Like, so I just threw everything in a bag and I wasn't gonna get there until like 11 p.m at night and he was like okay well you need to come dressed because as soon as you get here like we're going to all these super bowl parties and i was like dang so did my makeup ran to the freaking airport and yeah I get there and he like sends an uber for me and i'm just like you're gonna pick me up from the airport but he was like i'm like i'm really drunk like you're i'm finna like uber you to this club and i'm gonna meet you outside so he meets me outside or whatever he's super cool like he's all over me holding hands and he's like come on baby i'm like oh okay so after that like we get in the club they have like a section it's like him and some of his friends and like he's just like talking to me like mind you i had only met him i didn't even meet him actually he followed me on instagram that wednesday i flew to see him that friday so we didn't even know each other for like a week <laughs> So he's asked me about myself, like kissing all on me and stuff, like telling me, he's like, you're so pretty, yada yada, and I'm like, cool. So we're having a good time, like, you know, in the club. And so then he says, yeah, even my girlfriend knows you're here. You're who? <laughs> Yo, they, him and his girl about to run a train on your ass. Oh, snap, bro, I can't wait. I can't wait till I get enough money. Me and my wife start flying bitches out. I don't care. Y'all can judge me all y'all want. Okay, here's part two for y'all. Okay, so the picture that y'all are seeing, that's not the team that he plays on right now. And somebody guessed his name, so I had to like filter the comments to where you can't comment his name because that's not important. So anyways, he was like, my girlfriend knows you're here. Like, we're into that type of stuff. He was like, drop out of college. Like, we'll take care of you. Come live with us and blank. I'm sitting here like... This is a joke. Like, are you serious? And I was just looking at him like, what the heck? But mind you, he was drunk. Like, I was like tipsy too, but I remembered the next day, like, what he said. So then the next morning, like, I wake up and he's gone and like his friends are gone and I'm just in the Airbnb by myself. And I'm just like, bro, what the heck? And not to mention, I was starving. So he gets back and he was like, oh, we already ate. And I'm sitting here like, how you, like, what? Like, I could have paid for my own food, but obviously I don't have a car. So it's like, you can even go get me food so i was just like you know what whatever like it's cool so then he's like okay get dressed like we're gonna go watch the super bowl he's like it's too crowded to actually go mind you he said that we were going so then he was like um we're just gonna find like a watch party so that we could like drink and like have fun and watch it and i was just like okay like him and his friends all had this little plan and i was just like cool so mind you we're going all over the place mind you also i was in 21 so like, he was like, just like, you're with me, so it's fine. And then this guy was like asking for IDs at one of the watch parties. And then he was like, oh, you have to have tickets anyway. So we couldn't even go to that one. It looked fun though. So anyways, we ended up watching the Super Bowl at like Longhorn Steakhouse. And um, we had to like wait for like an hour. So we didn't even really get to watch it. It was like just a bad experience. I was hungry, I was mad. And then that night, like, we were all supposed to go to the parties after the Super Bowl. And literally, he was like, hold on, y'all. I'll be back. 
So he, they FaceTimed him like two hours later because nobody knew where he went. And literally he was downtown without us and he had the freaking car. So we're all sitting here like, what the heck? You know, like, and so he was like, oh, y'all could Uber down here to me. And then like all the guys asked me, cause mind you, I'm the only girl. They're like, do you want to go? And I'm just like, no, it's okay. Like I'm going to shower and go to sleep. And like all his friends were really nice towards me. Like they got to know me. They were cool people. So literally he got there and I just pretended like I was asleep. And then he like tried to like lay in the bed with me and I was like, no sir. So I acted like I was asleep and then when I thought he was asleep, I got up and I went and watched TV and like with his friends and we were gonna go get food. So then I needed my shoes and the door was locked. Like he locked the door with all my stuff in it. So fast forward, his friend called him and was like, I need to move your car, like can I see the keys? And he was like, yeah. And so he gave him the keys, locked the door again. Every time I hear these stories, I'm just intrigued. Now, you you probably missing the part where you was acting funny. Acting like you don't know what time it is. The nigga flew you out there because he wanted to fuck. And you got out there and started acting funny. Oh, you couldn't pick me up in an Uber? Hmm, bitch? You couldn't get me something to eat? Nah, hell no. Nah, I didn't got nothing for your ass to eat neither. He probably was supposed to fuck that first night. That's what, That's really what happened. He was supposed to hit that first night and he didn't. You started acting funny. So the next day, he started acting funny. Crazy thing is, I'm pretty sure the dude that you in the living room with right now watching TV, I bet you he hit. I bet you he hit. And I went and watched TV like with his friends and we were going to go get food. So then I needed my shoes and the door was locked. Like he locked the door with all my stuff in it. So fast forward, his friend called him and was like, I need to move your car. Like, can I see the keys? And he was like, yeah. And so he gave him the keys, locked the door again. So then basically. So we got food and then I just slept on the couch and then the next morning I heard him get all his stuff and he literally left and we were supposed to go to the airport together. So his friend like had to take me to the airport and it was bad. Okay, here's part two for y'all. Okay, so the picture that y'all- After that, um, he texted me like a few weeks later and he was like, I'm so sorry, like that was a bad um, first impression of myself. Like, let me make it up to you. I'll take you anywhere you want to go. No, sir. So his friend like ended up like we exchanged numbers and stuff. His friend was really, really cool. Like he ended up flying me to Alabama. We went to a Rilo Rodriguez concert and then he flew me to um Atlanta and like he I took one of my friends because I was like, I'm never going anywhere by myself again. He paid for my friend's flight too. Like he was super, super cool. And like his family was cool. I met his family too, but the other guy, he literally just added me back on Snapchat like a few weeks ago. And that's what made me like think of this story because it was literally a year ago. Like it was like the beginning of February last year. And um, yeah, I was like, I have to like talk about this because it's literally it's not funny. But at the same time, it's funny. And I flew to other places, too. So if you all want to know about those times, I'll tell you all. And I'm not encouraging this because I'm not saying that this is the best thing to be doing. But sometimes I'll catch his baby mama like watching my Instagram story or a girlfriend plus big mom, I don't know. And I should be like, <laughs> and then sometimes he'll watch my Instagram story and it's just like, I don't know what he be doing, but. Young, beautiful sisters of the internet, please be careful when you're being flown out by these gentlemen, okay? I know they have money and they could show you a good time, but please think about your safety, all right? Think about your safety. Imagine getting flown out to a place you've never been and the person leaves you stranded. 